Welcome to the Miami Heat Zone Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, we're pushing to 4,000 subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and thank you for all the support. So it's unfortunate, you know, Miami, we did lose. We lose to the Boston Celtics 4-1. Listen, we can't win it every year. We can't always advance every year, especially how we were under man, man. No Jimmy, no Terry. Duncan is hurt. No Josh Richardson. No Jaime Hawkins Jr. It is what it is. All I know is this Miami Heat team, they need to shake this up. You know, year five, and we're still struggling with the same issues. Lack of size. It's 2024, and we can't score even close to 98 points. It's an absolutely a shame and a mockery what's going on. I know that this team has a lot of decisions to make in terms of the Jimmy Butler extension. Do we keep Tyler Hero? I think Caleb Martin is gone only because I'm sure another team will throw him a bag. If Max Schroes can make $64 million, I think Caleb Martin can as well. Uh, we just need upgrades. You know, we need high quality role players around our best player. You know, everything is not about star hunt and trying to chase a whale when we're 0 for 7. We didn't get Donovan Mitchell. We didn't get Kevin Durant. We didn't get Damian Lillard. And of course, the NBA was kind of blocking us in some of those situations. I don't care what anyone says, but, you know, I just think that we got to take the regular season seriously. This foolishness where I'm hearing, oh, don't worry about playoff, Jimmy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's foolishness. There's no other star that's doing that in the NBA. We have to take the regular season seriously. Why? Because I'm sure we would have beat whatever team that we would have played instead of Boston. We would have beat them. Either the um, the Orlando Magic, the Pacers, any other team. If we were somewhat just a little bit more healthier or even just with Tyler and Bam, I think we would have had a better chance to get out the first round instead of playing the Boston Celtics. You know, Bam Adebayo showed us a lot. You know, he pretty much averaged 20 and 10. What more that, you know, can you really expect with him carrying the defense as well? Tyler Hero honestly could have been better. You know, Tyler Hero, he has a lot of holes in his games. Don't get me wrong. Is he a number one or two option? No, but I still expected him just to play a little bit better. You know, he's pretty much playing to stay here. And it's unfortunate, but he's the third guy out. You know, I still think, like I said, Jimmy Butler needs to take the regular season seriously. We need him out there. He's our best player, especially if we're trying to give him an extension, especially if we're building the team around him. We need him to be better. And it's also going to be interesting to see who's untradeable during this offseason because, you know, Jaime Hawkins Jr. and Nikola Jovic, they're great young players. But once again, if we're really leaning into Jimmy Butler, one or two of them might have to be traded. So it's going to be very interesting this offseason just to see where they're going to be headed, especially with the addition of Terry Rozier as our point guard. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of things going on right now. Do we keep Duncan Robinson right now? The Miami Heat are paying their big contracts to Terry, Duncan, Jimmy, Bam, Tyler, like... There's a lot on the payroll. So it's going to be very interesting to see who we keep, who's traded, who, who, which young player do they prioritize over the other. Let me know which direction you guys think this Miami Heat roster should go. Like I said, you can't win it every year. We'll take this one to the chin and we'll be back. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 4,000 subscribers.